okay now we have implemented this 8-way locomotion blend space and now what I want to do is uh, at the moment uh, as my character orients towards the movement I am only using this the blend in between this horizontal axis so instead of doing that I want to use these animations as well so the way I want to implement is this uh, when I let me see, show you the preview. When I when I'm walking, I should rotate. Uh, I should look at uh, the direction. Uh, the character should keep looking at the direction I'm looking at through the camera, uh, regardless of the moment direction, like this. So that should happen even if I am running or I am walking. But if I am sprinting, uh, yeah, I need to disable that only if I am sprinting. But for now, let's keep it because it's easier to test the function, test the blend space. So first. Uh, let's see how to implement how to make the character look at the direction uh, the player looking at the camera while moving because if the character is not moving we can even look at the face of the character but once the character starts moving it rotates it start to look at the way the direction the player is looking through the camera so it tries to align itself with the player's view like this okay and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so let's get this started so this is what I have at the moment in the current project and no matter what I'm doing it rotates to the movement direction so first to prevent that let's go to the soldier blueprint uh, actually this behavior that behavior the looking uh, rota uh, rotate in the characters direction to the way the player is looking is not for the main parent character uh, CH soldier it's only specific for the player character CH player which is a child object child class of this CS soldier so therefore here under character moment I'll first disable uh, there is an option called uh, orient orient rotation to moment right I'm gonna disable that so now then what happens is this the character keep looking at the well this uh, this part is annoying the gun not properly aligning with the hand so let's fix it first let me freeze the animations and
it's reasonable. Right, it's better now. Okay, now this is the way character behaves. Okay, now that's also not the way I want. I want the character to keep looking at whatever the way player is looking at uh, regardless of the moment direction. So to do that in the take, let's do something like this. Uh, get actor rotation and get control rotation and then uh, let's do an R enter so in this way we can smoothly rotate the character towards whatever the direction player is looking at we can get access that direction with this get control rotation so this is the delta time interpolation speed let's try something like 5 right and then set at the rotation okay let's see now what happens Oh wait, wait. I only need to change, I only want to change the your component here. And wish other uh, uh, other components should be zero. Okay, but this should happen only if the character is moving so we can see the nice footwork so let's add a branch here and let's add a rear out node let's collapse this velocity and get vector length get length wait vector length okay so we should rotate the character only if there is a moment value on that means only if this vector length is larger than zero so oh wait i should transfer the execution next skipping this part if this is condition is false also otherwise uh, whatever I want to do here later will not be executed okay so now I can look at the character's face like this and then if I start moving character rotates to that direction and continue to walk okay so if I press W and D simultaneously it is like this and I guess the walking 8 way blend space is fine mm -hmm. right uh, now let's take a look at the uh, 
plane space here so I think uh, no let's first print uh, let's go here and the place where we calculate the speed so here let's print the speed values we need the side speed and forward speed so first I'll print forward oh, we don't need this this is something I did for testing speed forward first and speed side first okay now it's zero zero and when I press only forward it's 200 uh, can we get rid of decimal points because it's a little bit it's annoying actually it's not clear when we see all the decimal points as well and also we don't need that kind of uh, accuracy so let's first int to int to int Truncate. All right, that's the function we should use. Truncate. All right. Okay. Now it's clear. It's uh, 141, 141, and now, like, yeah, 200. And here, when I press S and D, diagonally backward to the right side, back right, 141. Okay, so the point I should move this animation is this walking animation is not 100 by 400 it should be closer to 140 but with these segments we can't reach 140 so now here i'll change this to 48 so because we need now more accuracy all right now what's the closest point for 140 Okay, 150. Right, so 150 by 150. That's the point. right now let's see it looks better okay so walking looks all right now so what's the next thing 
with running running speed okay so to figure out what are the ideal values for running let's start running so it's 400 well kind of feels like we are running in the same position like 40 sliding so to clearly see that I'll implement uh, shortcut key um, um, like this let's use this key if I press it set uh, no let's use a flip flop here set global time dilation to 0.2 and then to 1 so what this flip flop does is once I press this num it will execute a then b then if I press again no, uh, the first time it will execute a second time it will execute b then in the third time it will a both time b so like that so I can use this to slow down the time by slowing down the time we can clearly see if the foot is sliding on the ground when running now yeah it is kind of looks like sliding so maybe to fix that so yeah let's look at from this angle yeah so the sliding means the foot moves backward compared to the ground so it's like a backward sliding so that means uh, 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 the running speed is not enough so let's go to the change moment mode so this is where I have defined running speed let's make this 450 and that's not enough we have to move the running to 450 as well in all the directions okay now let's slow down now I think it looks alright yeah not much of sliding okay so 450 is okay and what about the diagonal running oh, it's 380 now right and I think it is also doesn't look good okay so we need to move the diagonal running this one closer to 318 so what's the closest to 380? 325 Right all right save and let's see now yeah 
Let's try. It seems all right. Okay, that part is done, and the next part is printing. So let's check first. So we can sprint with shift pressed and sprinting right side, it should be closer to 425. And I guess it looks already good enough. But anyway, let's check. Uh, uh, 425. Minus 425. 425. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see now. Seems fine. Seems fine. Mm. okay all right so everything looks okay let's see in the slow motion mode as well there is a slight sliding but i don't think people will notice that okay what about backward sprinting? Okay, so yeah, that's it for today's episode. So let's Take a look at the blend space. Okay, this is the final blend space. It looks nice. And let's play with the character. This is walking. And this is running. And this is sprinting. All right, so that's all for today. And project files will be available through the Patreon page, so you can download them there. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. The link would be in the description below. And thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.